Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 505, real one. In the not too distant future, New Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss is feeling like a suit and shot him in the face. Salty Awards, and to present our next awards, he's at the peak of his career, and she's totally tubular. So please welcome Crow T. Robot and the lovable Gypsy. Well, Crow, it seems as if everybody who's anybody is here tonight. That's because they knew you'd be wearing that dress. Uh, wow. Uh, you, flattery will get you everywhere. Now be good and read the nominees. Oh, I'll read the nominees, but I won't be good. <laughs> the nominees for Best Performance by a Red Gumball Machine-looking robot in a funny situation are... Joel Robinson for That Day at Lunch. Magic Voice for Last Thursday when we all stayed up late telling stories. Tom Servo for the day he lost control of his hover skirt. And, uh, Crow T. Robot, the day Tom lost control of his hover skirt. And the golden bone goes to... Gosh, I'm nervous. Thanks, Joel. Oh, my God. Crow T. Robot! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I'm shocked! I'm shocked! Thank you. I'm very grateful. I'm truly Wait honored a to... Hold on, hold on. This it, is you know, highway it's, robbery. It's, Wait a minute. Hold it. Hey. I Price Waterhouse on the phone. I demand a recount. You know what this is, don't you? It's fear of a short red planet. That's hey, what it is. Hey, I won fair and square, did buckaroo. Not, did not. Did Actually, not. I thought I had a pretty good shot at it. Well, that's Tinseltown. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bernhard, the host of the A-List here at Comedy Central, and frankly, I don't know how you can host a show called the A-List without me, because I'm brilliant. Right, Sandra? Don't know how we did it without you. Watch Pepsi's A-List with Sandra Bernhard weeknights at 11 here at Comedy Central. Doesn't it feel grungy? Doesn't it feel scrungy? Doesn't it feel seeny? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? A gigantic sale on mighty tasty casuals of pay less. Didn't know? Oh, you're the one. Doesn't it feel clunky? Doesn't it feel funky? Doesn't it feel jeansy? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? They're big, they're bad, and they're on sale starting at just $9.99. Two for 18. I feel industrial strength good. Doesn't it feel, doesn't it feel, doesn't it feel good? Who taught you how to shave your legs? Your mother? You start with a bar of soap. Work up a good lather. Sometimes I use your father's shaving foam. Soft Scent Shave Gel. Goes on silky, foams up soft. True, soap may dry your skin. Soft Sense has seven moisturizers. It protects against the nicks and dryness a soap and water shave can cause. These little bandages are a perfect fit. Soft Scent Shave Gel. The soft, sensible shave. It just didn't sound possible. How could a maxi with thousands of holes protect me? It's always with dry weave, but I found out it really works. The dry weave covers the entire top of the pad, 
with all those special little holes that let wetness in and help keep it away. So the surface is cleaner and drier. <laughs> all those holes, all that protection. I think it's ingenious. Always with dry weave. It's cleaner and drier. I wash, I get pimples. I wash more, I get pimples. I use soap, I get pimples. I use cleansers, I get pimples. I get pimples. I get pimples. I get pimples. I get clear stick. I wash, I use clear stick. I get fewer pimples. Clear Seal Clear Stick. It prevents pimples better than washing alone. It gets under your skin where soaps and cleansers can't go. For 11, 25, up to 53% fewer pimples. Wow, this is huge. After you wash, all over your face. Clear Seal Clear Stick. It's a real pimple prevention invention. Do your face right. Use it. There is one gentle antibacterial soap doctors recommend more than any other. Aren't you glad you used Dial? But when you come right down to it, it's enough of an honor to be nominated, really. Hmm? Oh, yeah, the nomination itself is really what's important. Yeah. Oh, who am I trying to kid? A nomination without a win spells one word, loser. Yep. Ah, oh, come on, can the bitterness, you guys. OC and Stiggs are calling. <laughs> oh, hello, Joel. I was just drawing on TV's Frank what I, Dr. Clayton Forrester, was born with, a cleft chin. In other words, a chin butt. <laughs> Call it what you will. The fact is we found a new area of the human body to be ashamed of, and shame fuels the economy, from mouthwash to deodorant. Where there's shame, there's a need. And our invention exchange this week meets that need. We give you... Chinderwear! Frank's wearing the basic brief while I'm sporting the bikini cut. It also comes in boxer, Italian bun hugger, and of course the <laughs> Joe Namath knitted slingshot brief. <laughs> They're affordable, comfortable, and leave no visible panty line. Oh, Frank, that's disgusting. If you ask me, you guys have been underground a little too long. <laughs> anyway, our invention exchange this week is based on Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. It's the Rat Pack chess set. Oh, you see, the Rat Pack was sort of a drinking man's Justice League of America. The closest thing to royalty our great nation has yet produced. Why, they were the kings, queens, knaves, rooks, and pawns of our popular culture. My team on my side of the board is the actual Rat Pack. Frank Sinatra, of course, yeah. Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, Joey Bishop, plus supplemental Rat Pack members, Shirley MacLaine, Sammy Kahn, and Jilly Rizzo. And, of course, my side of the board has the Rat Pack's nemesis. Well, there's uh, Shecky Green, mm. a Kitty Kelly, Liz <laughs> Smith, Earl Wilson, mm. Sam Giancana, Judith Exner, of course, Bobby Kennedy, mm. and the Dark King himself, Mitch Miller. Oh, boo. Right, okay, now how do the pieces move, you guys? Uh, well, Dean Martin can only stagger sideways across the board. Yeah. Uh, Sammy Davis Jr. can move in a variety of different ways because he's so versatile. <laughs> hey, let's face it, the man was the consummate entertainer. Mm. What about uh, Joy Bishop? Bishop. He moves however Frank says, oh. baby. Right, okay. <laughs> and what about uh, old Blue Eyes himself? Where does he move? Wherever the hell he wants oh, to. Right. After all, he's the chairman of the chess board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and check it out, he talks, too. Here's two bucks, doll face, because that's just what you're worth. Wow, cool. Now, uh, what about Peter Lawford over here? Well, he inevitably gets kicked off the board right. when JFK snubs Frank and stays at Bing Crosby's Palm Springs home. Well, then you can replace him with either Don Rickles, uh, Toot Shore, or the leggy Juliet Prowse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes Dino passes out and can't continue on. In that case, Liza Minnelli, uh, being the trooper that she is, is always ready to replace him at a moment's notice. Mm. So you see, everybody, even when a game like chess is Americanized, it's still really complicated. Mm -hmm. What do you think, sirs? Joel, your experiment this week is the magic voyage of Sinbad. We whipped it together specifically to cause pain. And we did it our way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Well... You don't got movie signed till I say you got movie signed, <laughs> capiche? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, go ahead, you crumb bums. Thank you. Yeah! 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 <laughs> 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 mm. 
Oh, you know what? I saw the magic voyage of Brad Garrett. Yeah. Hey, this is the credits from My Dream of Genie. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I love that typeface. Arnold Kaler, Maurice Troilin, Robert Searle. It's a cast of farmers. I know. Rimsky Korsakoff? Oh, this must have been one of his early films. <laughs> hey, when he's not scoring films, isn't he in Oingo Boingo? Oh, no, uh, yeah. Oh, geez, it's kind of cloudy on the lake today. Oh, yeah, but the crappies are really biting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't get no better eating than crappies. Oh, yeah, I yeah. caught some walleyes the other day. That's like eating candy. Oh, mm -hmm. crepes, you know, I'd like to catch me a big northern. Yeah. The fishing yeah. sketch, ladies and gentlemen, the fishing sketch. Thank you. you know, this already seems very Poscoian. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They say that long ago, to the east, beyond the temples of India, and further even than the jeweled cities of Arabia, lies the city of Minneapolis. Remarkable city of Kobasan, the home of Sinbad. Well, this isn't it, but it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Sinbad the Sailor. Ah, uh, that's me. Yeah, pretty much going to come scan. Look at the buildings. Who was carried through the air in the claws of the gigantic bird, the rock. Sinbad has returned. And nobody seems to care. I'm very popular in Kobasan. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys are terrific. Thanks a lot. Sinbad the Adventurer who sailed around the world in search of its magical treasure. We I did that thing. Spices. Hi, Dave, Trent, Chad, Troy, Fred, Fred, Steve, Todd, Mark. Pearl apples from Bungo. the kingdom at the bottom of the sea. That bear has hammer pants on. Suddenly it's the hotel in New Hampshire. <laughs> hey, you walked right through my act. Up yours. Morning. Ancient industry. <laughs> Woo. Oh. But Sinbad... Having given away his treasures to the poor people of other lands, returned to his home with only a heart, which they say, when played, would bring about magical things. Heidi Doodle! <laughs> hey, that's a sword there, isn't it? Here, let me try it out. Thanks a lot. Woohoo! Whoopee! Whoop, whoop! Thank you. All about him, Sinbad could see that a great change had come over his city. Huh. The people were dressed poorly and seemed hungry and tired. We're hungry and tired. Whereas the wealthy merchants seemed richer than ever. Yet they also looked like crap. It's the Ozark Mountain Daredevils taking out the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, you all have to work so hard. I might play a couple of rounds of golf. <laughs> It was on that first day of his return to Kovasan. A shot rang out. Sinbad found himself charmed by a poor working girl of the city. What are you called? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Luberia. What an annoying name. Do you always stare at people? Not always. <laughs> uh, well, uh. Could I have a drink, please? Yes. Yes. Uh, water. Uh. Let me pass. Please. Uh, won't I be able to meet you again? I doubt that. I'm retaining a little water. It's kind of a yoke. It's a, oh. Strike one, Sinbad. Wait. How shall I find you? Just ask for the girl with two buckets. Get it? Should you want to, you will. In other words, buzz off. <laughs> Look to this day, graduate. Ha! But there were still the poor people. Kobasan was now a weary, enslaved city, with bondage a common word. Next up Let on Slave Search! Ha! <laughs> Funny the slave people. carrot top! Without you. <laughs> I'm gonna but do people, my chops! <laughs> I would speak to you. Who would stand tauntless? A bonded man, a drink. Ah, go on, you've drunk enough the heavens now! Is this Les Miserable? It was hunger that enslaved him. Better than starving. Let him look for happiness. Howard Happy. Johnson is right. Nothing is better than starving. What? When you lose your freedom for the sake of a full stomach. Listen to me, good people of the city of Kovasan. Consider Amway. I have heard there is a bird of happiness. We need only to go and find it. In what land is this bird supposedly flying? I tell you to talk. That I do not know. But this old man, I will tell you. Hmm? We must look for it. Look for it until we find it. But I kid the poor. I'll build a boat and sail about the world. I'll sail and search until I have found it. 
And how will you Security. finance that? Security! Situation? You aren't even a merchant. Here! My only fortune is my heart. <laughs> Why, you think that's funny? What's so funny? What did you sell your freedom for? Some Knicks tickets. What would it take to free you? Uh, oh, this is an open silver. stage. One piece of silver. Here, this is not so bad. Hmm. Who will give me one piece of silver for it? Here, let me see. Scram. I will buy it. I own the man. It is his right. Here you are. Well, he made bail. <laughs> If you ever do make your journey... Which I doubt. You must not be selfish. Alone. Your bird cannot bring you happiness. Thanks, I'll mow that over. What did I get myself into? I just got into town. Man. Ah, screw that. I'm going for the bird. One man freed, but still there were thousands more. Guess I should have brought more hats. Sorry, Mr. Sinbad. Ah, great. I give up my hat, now I'm the jerk. And so it came to pass that Sinbad's joyful return to his home was marred by the poverty and unhappiness of its people. Dumb old poor people. A city without magic. Where the marvelous wonders were long forgotten. Where the riches of others enslaved the good people. So Sinbad went to the Renaissance Festival! <laughs> Wait just a doggone minute. I'm still Sinbad, damn it. No, no, I'm Dutch. I don't want any furs. What am I doing here? Consider fur. Hmm. Brought to you by the Fur Council. <laughs> hey, that's an odd way to go to communion. <laughs> but it's, it's 27 brides for 27 brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be able to walk, and now all I can do is this. My house shall not be a house of hilarity. Help <laughs> me! I don't know how to stop! I've been around the world, and I've never seen anything as stupid as this. When jesters drink. If you must jest, don't drink. Hey, Paul Winter. <laughs> it's not working! <laughs> Hey, no, look, everybody's got to go. My parents are coming home any minute. I'll get your check. Yep. <laughs> Nothing's funnier than a jester on the floor. <laughs> the two stages of Jackie Cooper. Young, old. I don't choose to beg. Me. <laughs> live at Comedy Central. Just some average looking white people from Seattle who do funny stuff and have their own show. Oh. Who won the 1990 World Cup of Soccer? Watch the fairies in tight shorts. That's right. You probably don't know their names, but that's okay. They don't know yours either. I saw Jesus headed for Hollywood. Boy, was he pissed. Almost live. Weeknights at 8.30 only at Comedy Central. If there is one right we must guarantee the next generation, it's the right to a first-rate education. For the world can be a frightening place if you don't learn at an early age just how laughable life really is. So as your presidential brother, I say again that it is the duty of all Americans to watch Comedy Central. If not for ourselves, then for our children. Thank you very much. Comedy Central, important enough to get the president's brother. Come here. Kind of reminds you of the disco era, doesn't it? It's pretty neat. Very clever gizmo, I might say. I think it's an upper class of sneakers on the court, I think. I load up, lace up, and I'm good to go. And all they see are these little lights flashing away. They get to see the light before you go up and slam on them. Bam! I think grandma would like a pair. You gotta own the light if you wanna own the night. taught you how to shave your legs? Your mother? You start with a bar of soap. Work up a good lather. Sometimes I use your father's shaving foam. Soft Sense Shave Gel. Goes on silky, foams up soft. True, soap may dry your skin. Soft Sense has seven moisturizers. 
It protects against the nicks and dryness a soap and water shave can cause. These little bandages are a perfect fit. Soft Sense Shave Gel. The soft, sensible shave. You want to save on long distance? What a pain. Restrictions on times of day, area codes, calling circles, and there's no guarantee you'll save. Except with the most. Mm. It's like a billion megabyte brain at Sprint. It figures out who you call the most and guarantees you savings every month. One month, your best friend in Alaska. Next month, your new best friend in Lahaina. Isn't science wonderful? Now get $50 free long distance with the most. Only from Sprint. Tire foam protectant from armor on. One spray, and even old tires look great. Ah, kind of makes you wish we made car foam. Tire foam from armor on. You're at Comedy Central. Tonight at 9 o'clock, watch Divine Madness, starring Bette Midler. At 11, it's Comic Justice. At 11.30, watch Stand Up, Stand Up. Sinbad, the kitchen is closed. Who is this man? What a Who dope. Is Where did you get the zither? <laughs> Wiener. Where do you come from? Where do you go back there? A traveler of many lands. Big deal. I'm stopping again right here. Dope. On the beautiful shores of Kovacan. Oh, uh, it was a great Sinbad gracing us with his presence. I'll handle this intruder. Watch this. Just now, Sinbad, you haven't heard my anger. Hmm. How dare you break in here and disrupt my party, uncouth wastrel. This noble city, this England, does not need the likes of you. Abdallah, if you please to wait. If you will all just wait for one minute. I have some amazing discoveries. Listen, please, I must insist. Please. Believe me, I come not to quarrel. On the contrary. But with a proposition. You can increase your income by twenty-five thousand dollars. To all of us. Oh, sounds great. Oh. Drop the chandelier on him. An offer of value. Well, tell us about it. What have you to offer us? Well, it's kind of a work in progress, really. All night long I've listened to you talking, toasting and bragging of your power, your wealth and your happiness. Not me. Don't you know that when you die, that you die, these riches cannot be taken with you. You have to sail the seven flippin' seas to but find that out, cha-cha? To bring happiness to all Kovacan. Find this happiness. Kierkegaard. Search all over the earth. Build up a fleet of merchant ships. You want to take it outside, Present sir? Present goods to all men and establish forever the glory of Kovacan. Hmm? He is mad. Hey, listen to a fool. A drifter trying to teach the experts. Oh, Jerry, you always come up with the right line. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Go away with him. Go away with him. Go away with the troublemaker. Get him out. Abdallah. This bettering must stop. Santa, be reasonable. That speaks the truth, then. Yes. He promises us glory, and he has nothing in his pockets. You believe him, and you are a fool, I say. Why won't you listen? You're a bright man, but now you don't act very bright. Listen to your elder. We must send the ships. Oh, the heater coming through. The heater coming through. Watch yeah. out. Oh. Perhaps Sinbad is right. What if he is? Who cares if he should be? You mind your business. Diat, what? I don't have to stop. You could do worse. <laughs> Now, Vagabond, you cause trouble. Here's Sinbad, a dream for the great traveler. He traveled diseases, all the sights, and still has nothing. Huh? Get out, old fool. He just brought the level of discourse Please way down. Up. If you don't listen to him, you're all worse than hypocrites. You have hippopotamuses. Do you disagree with your father's wisdom? To side with a wastrel? You have shamed us in front of everyone. Well, you guys oh. were shameful before he got here. I'll get ships without your assistance. I'm here to stop the chain of fear that's plagued this family. Oh, people who are wiser than you. <laughs> I'm out of here, I'm thanks. I'm do better with it than you. 
The poor will wear brocade clothes. Hmm? They'll dance in the streets and have gold to spend. Sinbad, ladies and gentlemen, he always leaves us laughing. <laughs> yeah. oh, joke. Come on, jesters, leave him alone. He's had enough. Oh, that went well. Arrogant, smug merchant. Last time I go to the Rotary. They will regret Sinbad, the resentful sailor. Take me along with you, Sinbad. And who are you? Hadabad is my name. Here I'm just a buffoon that means nothing. But with you I could do a man's work. Oh, please take me with you. <laughs> no! Men work hard. Oh, please take me with you, Sinbad. I will work well. I promise. What are you, nuts? No! All right. You will be my first recruit. You're on probation for six weeks. Now let me go. I must plan for our future. <laughs> uh, thank God he didn't check my references. The merchants had made their decision. The condition of the people was of no concern to them. What condition their condition is in? Kenny Rabbit. No, it's Sid Hartha. Was that a Howard Hessman reference? Uh, um, Rudolph Hess. Where is love? Hey, someone took my fort down. Steve Martin's World of Birds. I'm a sprite. So, sadly, Sinbad wandered to the edge of the enchanted sea. And had a magic BM. He began to play his magical harp in the hopes that his troubles would be answered. Jim Dandy to the rescue. Jim. Alone, my soul must always be. El Martino? Is happiness beyond the sea? Oh. Does it hide its shining fair in dark caverns waiting there? Is that a rhetorical question? My heart laments the years I Sinbad, do you mind? In search of happiness. Oh, no, she's a tall drink of water. Because wow. <laughs> of the... If there's a place where kindness dwells... Is there a place where you can shut my up? My heart would find its rest. How about giving it a rest now, Sinbad? Happiness, could you be loved? Hidden in a maiden's eyes. Sinbad, unplugged. The secret key for uh, if you find a melody, Sinbad, hop on. In my own heart lies. Next, thank you. My uh, must be Sinbad, honey, I'm begging you, please stop. Please. Each <clears throat> way. Um, Mr. Bad, the apartment oh, building next door has asked me to ask you to shut up, please. Oh, moon, let's see. Everybody, just the goldfish now. Take it to the bridge, Sinbad. Drop it in the water. <sighs> Sinbad. Ah, don't do Won't that. Don't even look at me waiting for you. Oh, jeez, did you just see everything? Oh. There, Sinbad. You are the fairest woman I've ever seen. You seem so gloomy. Here, have some Prozac. Perhaps you long for someone who does not care for you. Is she a kabuki actress? Your song pulled at the very heart of Morgiana. I'm your friend. Oh, she's a groupie. You must let me help you. I have the powers of my father. And where is your father that he has such powers? Below the sea. Mm -hmm. Known to you as Neptune. Known to me as Fred. If you were only to look at his magical kingdom, you would see goldfin uh -huh. fishes uh -huh. and mysteries yeah. beyond belief. Sure, would it's real to you, dear. Uh -huh. right. uh -huh. You must yeah. see uh -huh. this. Mm -hmm. Flee this land of worry and come below. For a carnival cruise vacation. Make most of this opportunity and journey with me. But I cannot. I must stay here and keep my promise. I have a doctor's appointment at the desk. I've promised to bring the bird of happiness to Kovasan. And I must search the earth for it. And still my ships cannot be launched. 
Hmm? I have no money to begin my search. Uh, no money? Well, so I gotta go. On a bound, I see. So what are you looking at? Oh, I'm back. Say Sorry. You shall. Bring a boat here. Begin to cast beneath the waters below. Huh. And I shall be there. Bringing you my golden fish. Oh, wow. Oh, right, I love this lake. Yes, she's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Morning's coming. And we shall part now, Sinbad. Perchance I have won. This is the latest Taster's Choice ad. Hmm. Time will tell. Oh, by the way, uh, I left $10,000 in the... <laughs> I will come, Morgiana. Riches from the sea. Whoa, <laughs> riches. Gold sea, foolish merchants. All of you. Gold sea. Boy, a heck of hoarding really takes it out of you. Uh, gesturing is grueling. Uh, <laughs> movie made it look so easy. Uh, uh, <sighs> okay, you guys, now listen up. We got uh, plans for the next uh, junior jester meeting. The first Tuesday next month, don't forget your dues. Uh, I make a motion that the next meeting we do our cavorting laying down on coaches. Uh, I can't make it next month. <laughs> oh, hey, but you're in charge of the snack committee. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's really no reason to meet during the summer, is there? Uh, maybe we should dissolve the chapter. Uh, wait a second, you guys, you can't dissolve the Junior Chester's Club. Where else am I going to wear these shoes? Oh, well. Uh, okay, how about we meet June 4th, uh, huh? Uh, no, that's how we got the Mr. B Natural practice that day. Uh, hey, uh, we got commercial sign, I think. God, uh, Crow, could you be a deer and get that? Uh, we'll try to iron this out. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's the biggest in the business. The Burger King Original Chicken Sandwich. And right now you can get it with fries to drink. The new low combo price of $2.99. Four big sandwich combos, each only $2.99. I love this place. It's pre-filled for convenience. Precisely. Pre-measured for just the right amount. Precisely. New Ganolotrimin pre-filled. Seven applicators make curing a yeast infection easier. Precisely. Only from Ganolotrimin. The right cure such a relief. Silvex Tower boasts over 123 stories of protective glass, reconditioned air, fluorinated water. And with plans on board for hydroponic farms, it's conceivable that whole families will someday be born and raised within its confines, starting a vertical commute to the very same offices of their ancestors. I hate to clean. That's why I love this fantastic. Did you see it? It cuts through grease without leaving a film. So when I have company coming, I have time to do the really important things, like wipe the lipstick off the milk container. Fantastic. So clean, it squeaks. You know, I'm used to ruining my own clothes. I didn't know it was a special blouse. It was for my mom. I went to the shower. Someone bumped me. The meatballs, it went all over me. Her meatballs swim in grease. Came home, washed the blouse. The stain is not out. I poured a little bit of the Tide on there. I don't think we were going to get it out. Introducing new Tide with grease releasers. Grease this tough is so tough, many detergents could leave it behind. But nothing beats Tide. There's no stain. There isn't it. It's gone. It's gone. It looks new. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Well, it looks better on me. The way that I travel, I must have lost my contact lenses at least a hundred times. The day before I got married, I tore one of my lenses and had to go through the big day with one lens. Oh, it was pretty funny. 
Now I use Lens Express and I can get a new pair of lenses the very next day. Call now to get your free Lens Express catalog and find out how you can save up to 50% off the retail price by ordering direct from Lens Express. Your lenses can be on their way to you by Federal Express the same day you order. Your brand, your prescription, and Lens Express will beat any competitor's price guaranteed or your money back. Trust me, use Lens Express and make your life a whole lot easier. Replace your contacts as often as your doctor recommends and save. Call 1-800-222-9118 for a free Lens Express catalog. That's 1-800-222-9118. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mm, I'm drinking just right. You know, cavorting really makes you lose your electrolytes. Mm -hmm. And promises you a happy life. Magic and riches for the people of Kobasan. Next on The Price is Right, John Rice Davies. Come on down. this well and grumbled at having their rest disturbed. Who is this who rings the bell at this time of night? What madness is this? What fresh hell is this? Come on, let's take back the night! Neil Diamond tickets were on sale. What is it? What could be happening? Hmm? The city's running like madmen. This is all the earmarks of a run on the bank. Anthony! Here on the north side of Persia, it's Prince Spaghetti Day. What's the meaning of this? Who dares call the people? I do. Oh, yeah, everybody just stop your lives and pay attention to Sinbad. Yes, take him now. <laughs> if I could just do my opening joke, <clears throat> women be different from men, you see? Let me speak to you. Please, let me speak to you, all you not wish to hear you. Let him speak. Give us Barabbas. Hear me, three men. Hear me now as I speak to you. What if Jack Nicholson worked at a Burger King? Isn't I think it would go. To bring happiness to all of you. And I failed miserably. I felt this goal could be reached. But your illustrious merchants would have none of it. They laughed all this off. I say to you people that I will do this. Lose eight pounds by Christmas. And then I will cast the silken net. And this I will do. Catch fishes with golden fins. There is no such fish as that in the ocean, and you very well know it. This insolent dog is trying to make fools of us all. This idiot should be drowned for his insolence. He's a populist. You just can't stop him. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! I'll make a bridge out of him. And this, I am sure, will satisfy you. I'll catch these fish if I'm able. Then you will give me the keys to your warehouses. And should I fail, I freely give you the head of Sinbad. And I'll insist that you all spank me. And now what do you say? Bite me! You shall have his head, I warrant you. Who ever heard of these golden fishes? Well, what do you say? Is it agreed then? No! no. You have all heard the agreement. Now we will see what the morning will bring. A hangover. He has the entire day. Sinbad will cast his net and catch his golden fish as he promises. And if he does not catch them, then his head will belong to us. So, agree. And now I'm gone. Well, maybe not. Jay Heilman Brewing Company, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Over there. Beyond the blue horizon. Oh, I'm afraid she'll join me. It's noon and he's still filibustering. Oh, eh, uh, uh, oh, uh, pick oh, me. Sister, sister, oh, sister. Oh, sister. Oh, sister. It's not a simple job. Not everyone has the strength for it. We must test each man to see. If you wish to go on the journey, then you must pass the test. Not everyone is cut out to be an Arby's fry cook. Tonight, Cannon goes undercover. Selecting an army. Form against us and him. We shall soon have his head for all his folly. Not soon enough. Still, it was a good speech. Mm. Roll out a barrel of wine and a large drinking cup. We'll have a barrel of fun. It's enough for all of you. Everyone dresses like Michael Nesmith in this town. Who will be first to try? Step up here. I hear the call. Let me have it. Drink. <laughs> They're test marketing Crystal Pepsi. Sinbad and friends, the college years. <laughs> Foster Brooks, ladies and gentlemen. Foster Brooks. <laughs> and now you try. I'm ready. The Alcoholic Voyage of Sinbad will be back after this.
Good man. Are you prepared to stand up to one blow? Do it. Whoa. <laughs> Couldn't they just guess your weight or something? Let's see if I can stand the blow. All right, Kasim, here is your drink. Just guessed. This is how they selected the jury for the Rodney King trial. Ooh. Bravely done. If I knock you down, good Kasim, don't bear me a grudge. All right? See if you can knock me down. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? <laughs> You're a good man, Kasim. Are there more than men as Kasim? We're, We're going to make, make it after, after all. all. Well, Sinbad thinks of all the fun stuff. You see what he's ow, trying to do there? Ow, Never mind. Ow, it ow, won't ow, last for long. Ow. You passed the test. SATs were different yeah. back then. Oh, I am ready for the test. No need. You pass without it. Well, but rewind is hard to come by. <laughs> it is me and the groin then. <laughs> well said. He's drinking out of a Captain Crunch hat. <laughs> There's a squirrel in there. Look at that. No, hit me too. Damn. That would be the day when a fist hurt him. Better hit him with a cudgel or else nothing. Elmer <laughs> <laughs> always comes up with a real zinger. A cudgel, and I still won't fall. I'll tell you, let him fight my bear. Then we'll see a really good match here, eh? Hey? I'll give you a bear a fight. Why not? Hey, nobody ever asked me if I wanted to be a part of this. Oh, the bear's going into rope a dope. Hmm. Hey, check it out. The bear's having an intervention with Dan Haggerty. Dan, I wouldn't confront you like this if I didn't care about you. See, Dan, even Denver Pyle and his family showed up. They want you to seek help, too. I love you, damn it. Danny, can't you see that you're destroying yourself? Come on! Listen, Haggerty, you can fight me and run away, but you can never run away from yourself. Enough! You'll kill him! Get off, you brute! Get off! <laughs> oh, it's been a fun day. You're a strong man indeed, Thomas. Wish I could Wait hire you. <laughs> hey, Sinbad. Hmm? Would you take me with you? Uh, let me explain it one more time. No. You're a little too weak, I fear. Oh, well, that was uncalled for. I think you'll find me valuable if you try me. You see, I do many things. Things that other men cannot do. You see that I'm wily and clever with my hands. Strength is not all. What do you see here? I see a suspicious stain. He's a well, demon! Ah. All right, Tripod. You'll join us, and we're happy to have you. Yes. Put him on another ship. And now, friends, get me a net. A silken one to catch the thief. The time has come. You know, guys, this doesn't seem like Persia, and it's probably not even Sinbad. Mm -mm. The sun has long been up. Huh. those cuts to heal faster? Use Neosporin every time you bandage. Testing shows Neosporin helps cuts heal faster, four days faster than a bandage alone, and it helps prevent infection. So whenever you use a bandage, use Neosporin. Together, they make it better, faster. And for fast healing plus pain relief, try Maximum Strength Neosporin Plus. So, I mean, we could be living next door to a murderer. Well, New York is a melting pot. When a neighbor's wife died... She had a heart attack. She's dead. Carol knew it was murder. What do you mean you snuck into his apartment? Are you nuts? So did Ted and Marsha. He's gotten away with murder. Our only chance is to nab him. I'm a detective. We, they, they, they lowered the height requirement. Now it's Larry who feels like murder. Hey, Larry, relax. Now you just don't panic, okay? Manhattan Murder Mystery. Rated PG. Starts Friday in select theaters. Fresh and full of life. Fresh goes better. Fresh goes better with mental fresh and full of life. 
Mentos, the fresh maker. Who taught you how to shave your legs? Your mother? You start with a bar of soap, work up a good lather. Sometimes I use your father's shaving foam. Soft Scent Shave Gel. Goes on silky, foams up soft. True, soap may dry your skin. Soft Sense has seven moisturizers. It protects against the nicks and dryness a soap and water shave can cause. These little bandages are a perfect fit. Soft Scent Shave Gel. The soft, sensible shave. The Sam Scratch is going on. You know, he never really goes out to sea, he just goes out a little ways. These are the fabulous golden fish? Hey. <clears throat> hey, a whole bunch of fish. You can all go home now. <laughs> Spectator fishing. Hmm. Ah, just some syringes and Coney Island whitefish. He can say goodbye to his head now, huh? I'm dead. No luck. Hoo-ha! The hell? No fish. Still, it's a nice day to be out. Uh, how long do I get? Oh, oh there goes the tag going right there. There he goes again, guys. Look out. This is it, the big one. Uh, 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 do bullheads count? Darn. What is this? Nothing. This man holds no gold pin fish. I know. Are you Yukon Cornelius over here? And the crowd settles in after a disappointing first half. Three weeks later. Wait till they get a load of me. Get along, little fishies. Yeehaw. Whoa. Really stunk it up in here. Pesto burp. Sorry, fish. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Ah, princess, you haven't forgotten me. Oh, beautiful. I won. We have a winner. Hold your cards. We're gonna make it after all. So does anybody see anything in this movie remotely Arabian? Uh, hey, uh, what's the fish gonna do for us again? Give it up for me. I won. Woo! Your wager, merchants, and now you must give your goods to Sinbad. Ah, jam it, you crummy prole. <laughs> Here it is, thank you. Keep it up, keep it going for me. Come on, you it's me. Uh oh, what's the clearance on that bridge? I don't know, I think it's about 13.9. And... <clears throat> this is turning out to be one heck of a portage. Yes, it's me. Hello, kiss my big white Sinbad, but I won. Woo! Clean it. Ah, yeah, fooey. I'm going home. Yo, yo, Persian Clippers is returning home, home after winning in the World World Series. Why do you have such club faces, Merchants? Don't you think I look better with my head? Yeah, let's try it the other way and see. Uh -huh. Hand over the keys to all of your warehouses. Now, give me your PIN numbers for your bank cards. Here now, my worthy crew. Take these keys and open the shops. Get yourselves clothes and new sharp swords. Then give new clothes to everyone. Get them things they need. For long. Clothes, food, and fuel. All this give to the poor. The silk and the velvet cloth. All this give them and let them know how it is to be rich. All right, and stock up on socks. You know, you're never going to have this chance again. It's just a band-aid for the economy. Yeah, economics. <clears throat> These people, any excuse to squat. This is like Sturgis before motorcycles. You know, I can't tell if that's a Magritte or if it's a hole in the wall. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Hey, something for me. Boy, life is sure better since that one fish got here. Yeah, I wonder what they would have done for a lobster yeah. dinner. Let's see, before Sinbad came, everybody was partying, and after Sinbad came, everybody's partying. He really changed a whole lot here, didn't he? <laughs> Tip, don't ever do that again. Man, I never knew Arabia was so Russian. Well, maybe this was a Finnish movie called The Magic Voyage of Torval. Mm. It's Dance Party Persia, or Finland. 
nobody ever picks me for basketball. Hey, tripod, you look so Tripod? Long. Why aren't you singing and dancing like the others? Have a good time. You must forgive me. I do not feel like dancing. I do not feel and like dancing. Sure time has come for rejoicing. Why shouldn't the people enjoy themselves? Look how happy everyone is. No hunger or poverty. They have happiness. But is it really so? Take the trouble to look beyond your nose and what you see. Geez, even when Paris was liberated, this guy brought them all down. Oh, yeah, that. Keep looking there. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Come on, take a big, steamy gawk. I'm looking. Come on, look. Stop look. it! Look. Stop yeah. it! Look. Oh, they were sold out. Huh? Could you catch another fish, please? Who are they? The lost ones. They heard. Jason Patrick, keep us up. You've given everything, everything you had away to the people here. And still, there is no happiness. Your point, please? Now there is no money to build your ships. I've muddled my own plans. You muddied your own pants? <laughs> I just wanted to give happiness to them all you in didn't. an instant. Look, go ruin another town's economy. <laughs> and stay out, Sinbad! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying. Superior. Great job, Sinbad. You really humiliated me today. I was almost afraid you weren't coming. I had trouble getting away from Mother. And my boyfriend is waiting in the car. Did you tell your mother of my love for you? No, she will I think not I'm hear stupid. She says I haven't known you long enough. You're a seaman, and the sea has no place for me. And she brought up the fish thing, too. What can I do? You must see my position. Is she laying him off? We can no longer see one another. Well, this pretty much fits with the rest of my day. Yes. Surely I can still see Debbie. That's not what I say. That's what my mother said to me. Uh, your mother doesn't she want to see me anymore? about you. I'll always be proud of what you have done. You don't have to become rich. I only want you. And a tether ball. I know you, Sinbad. I believe I can make you happy. So you see, you must let me. Oh, oh sorry, I was thinking about my hat. But I must leave you shortly. Oh, and that golden fish isn't agreeing with me at I all. I have to make my journey. What journey? You know, the big journey. I promised the people. I must search for their happiness. I pray first that you will find our happiness. But if theirs is more important, Remember. Don't flush Q-tips. First and last, I am yours. Oh, whoopee dink, Sinbad's back. Uh, wanna get another softball game going? Eh? Mates, uh, my own uh, blender mayonnaise last night. Burned you uh, pretty creamy. Yeah. Hey, those are from Pier 1. I bet they're really stinking up the place by now. A harvest of foolishness I've left myself. Yep. Playing with bath beads. Brought to you in living color. <laughs> Suddenly, sushi. Oh, great! The power of creative visualization. Ah, <laughs> oh, princess, I thank you. Oh, fun. Uh, I also ironed your work shirt and packed your lunch, too. <laughs> My friends, wake up! What's so funny about racism, crime, and poverty? Comic justice. We were poor. We used to eat salt soup. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> it needs the most salt, though. Comic justice, the new street smart show that assaults urban blight with the only weapon we have left. Yeah. Comedy. Watch Comic Justice with host A.J. Jamal. Tonight at 11, only at Comedy Central. Watch seven hours of your favorite jocks hosting Saturday Night Live during Comedy Central's Joke Itch. Let Michael Jordan and the great players relieve your painful burning. Watch Comedy Central's Joke Itch, the Saturday Night Live sports marathon, this Sunday at noon here at Comedy Central. Hello, everyone. I'm Jake Johansson, host of Two Drink Minimum. What do you want me to spell it out for you? It's new comedians. I'm the host. They're new. You haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. But I know they're good. Tonight at midnight, only at Comedy Central.
Mountain man survival skills. The basics. A true mountain man must have a keen sense of direction, a certain physical dexterity, and a talent for surviving the most unforgiving climates. Of course, nothing is more key to a mountain man's survival than plenty of smooth bush beer and easy drinking bush life. So, head for the mountains and learn how the mountain man survives even the most grueling conditions. Only Lipton iced tea is brisk. So crisp, so clean, so thirst quenching. That's Lipton iced tea. That's the brisk tea in five delicious fruit flavors. Lipton tea, the brisk brings out the ah. Now you can get Lipton iced tea mix with an easy open top. TV. I love this place. <laughs> It's the biggest of the business, the new BK Big Fish Sandwich. And you can get it with fries and a drink, the new low combo price of $2.99. Four big sandwich combos, each only $2.99. I love this place! Silvex Tower boasts over 123 stories of protective glass, reconditioned air, fluorinated water. And with plans on board for hydroponic farms, it's conceivable that whole families will someday be born and raised within its confines, starting a vertical commute to the very same offices of their ancestors. Turn down that music. Get rid of the gum. Don't wear so much makeup. He Get off the phone. He thinks he knows Fix what's your best for you. And sometimes he's like right. That. Find some decent jeans. That's Make why all Lee jeans for girls and young men are on sale now during the JCPenney back to school sale. Don't sit so close to the TV. Mind Lee jeans. The brand that fits. Your waist, your hips, and this week your back pocket. Wear a coat, wear a hat. The JCPenney back to school sale. It's for your own good. Money doesn't grow on trees. Listen to your mother. Not while I'm alive. No parties, no kissing, no later than 10. Here at Comedy Central, tonight at 9 o'clock, watch Divine Madness, starring Bette Midler. At 11, it's Comic Justice. At 11.30, watch Stand Up, Stand Up. We were wondering, what would you do if Sinbad came to your town? <laughs> Wouldn't you want the city council to do something about it? Let's watch. Oh, okay, be it henceforth resolved. Parking is diagonal rather than parallel in downtown Persia. Next item. Can I get some water, please? Oh. Mr. President. You're the president? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, then can I be labor MP for Yes, the president <laughs> recognizes the honorable Tom Servo. Oh, thank you. And gentlemen, the Sinbad problem. Move the table. He's not Sinbad. Oh, but motion is out of order. I have not yet yielded the floor. Oh, okay. My honorable colleagues and Crow. <laughs> Far too Ooh. long have we denied the existence of this scourge. What a cheap demagogue. Servo, you're a cheap demagogue. Be it demagoguery, sir, to safeguard the public morals. Item one. Mm. Sinbad has continually and in clear violation of city statute 101.4563 1988 statutes amended, interrupted our daily routine. He's not Sinbad. Gentlemen, I'm a fellow what likes to know what he's doing and when he's doing it. Ours is a society based on ancient traditions. I thought we just sold each other fish. That's what I <laughs> Oh, I got one. Could Whoa. I have some more water, please? And most pressing on the public coffers, why in God's name is Sinbad tax exempt? Look, do you have a suggestion? Yes, banishment! Whoa. Okay, the president recognizes the labor MP from Brixton. Thank you. Move to refer whole issue to zoning, move to find out what the heck is with these beards, and move to find out the true identity of this guy's skin bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean, you mean zigzag. Uh, precisely. Whiz bang. No. No. Gentlemen, no. our youth, really? our infrastructure. Oh. Move to sketch. Oh, uh, yes, do I hear a second? I second. Is there any discussion? Yeah, he's not Sinbad. Uh, so ordered. Can I get some water, <laughs> get please? <laughs> Oh, sometimes lost causes are the only causes worth fighting for. Oh, movie sign! Oh. <laughs> T 
Skin pants. Skin yeah. blend. <laughs> Skin snag. Uh, look at this gold we've received from the sea. Welcome to Manic Depressiveville. Look, look, each man takes from at once. Is he Wake Percy Ross? <laughs> we must have chips at once. Strong, fast chips to carry us on our search for happiness. It's a rack this of prano ribs. <laughs> we will not return until happiness is ours. However long it takes us. Hurry, the sea waits for us. Sinbad tested, got approved. And now intermission. Act hey. two. Well, this is Hello. it. This is really a dumb relationship. They haven't gone to a Dairy Queen or a movie or anything. Never, my beloved. Wait patiently for me, loved one. Remember. Don't eat refrozen ice never cream. Be out of my heart. Out of the earth itself. I will come back to you. Stay alive! Whatever may occur, I will find you! Look, there they are. You'd better join them. The birds of love. I will send one after you every year. I want you to have this rearview mirror. If you wear this amulet, I'll feel safer. It's a Denver amulet. <laughs> You're a good man. Charlie Brown. Now you should go. My own beloved. Yeah, it's just a business trip, honey. I will not weep. I love you very much. I love pancakes more, but... Hey, he's got a Stratego hat. And I ran. I ran so far away. <laughs> Now, I always thought Sinbad wore big genie pants and a vest with no shirt. Oh, well. Oh, jeez. Sinbad doesn't make a big deal about anything, does he? You must not be angry with us, Sinbad. We only did what we thought was right. Now you have shown us wisdom. This is enough. I am not one to harbor grudges for long. Get out of here. Especially against rich, foolish men. Take a walk. Now we know that you really care, that you are interested only in the glory of Gobosan. That's true. You're a hero, Kovacan. And if you want all of our goods, not mine. Yours to trade with. Take them. What is ZZ Top seeing a moth? I thank you for your confidence. I bid you farewell. Yeah, just go, Sinbad. And find happiness for us all. Hey, look, the Trojan turkey. Wow. Yeah, like Sinbad goes to the store and he's got to call a crowd in. You know? <laughs> thank you. Now, just the ladies. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Is, is the crowd moving or is the platform moving? Because the plot isn't moving. Boom. I said he could go. I didn't think he actually would. Oh, she's got a clacker hat. Oh, hey, those ships have scoliosis. Go out of the harbor. You can stop bowing now, Sinbad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is God, now concluding my broadcast day. She's got dual overhead tear ducts. Hey, Andy. Intermission. And now act three. And so ah, the gentle Lugaria Must have missed awakened. his cue. Sinbad and his brave crew set out to sea, far into the mysterious regions of uncharted lands far from the familiar faces and sounds of Kobasan, sailing into the troubled waters of the barbaric north. Sounds like God picked up some extra bucks doing voiceovers. It looks barbaric, doesn't it? Tom Stewart killed me! <laughs> Toast and marmalade with tea, sailing ships upon the sea. Hey, it's the guys from town. <laughs> they changed their outfits, ran around to the other side. <laughs> ah, yes, the Vikings of Sinbad. The guns of Navarro. Hey, they just discovered Easter Island. Yeah. <laughs> they look like the Knights Hussein Need. Must be an overcrowding problem on this island, yeah. Nah, Sinbad thinks he's so tough, little. 
I think we will find that we are not welcome here. I said my good wishes to everybody. We come with peace in our hearts. And ants in our pants. If they wish to have commerce with us, we'll exchange goods and be on our way. Here, hang out of that for me, will you? Yes. Dingo boots, All check it out. Really want is to see what they know of the bird of happiness. We don't know anything. Place, it's always possible. It's like a collective deer stand. Ooh. I claim this land for all. Stop where you are. Okay. Who has called you to come here? We're discovering you. At once. We arrive without invitation. We come from over the sea. To see your land. To see your land. And in friendship, to mingle. To get some phone numbers. You see, we are a peaceful lot. We hope to trade with you. Come forward and inspect our ware. Rumble mints, anybody? It is too late. But we wish to be friends with you. Another step, and it will be the last step you ever take here. We'll turn ourselves right around and leave. But well, I can, of course, stop. Oh, Dig this. Watch. Obviously, our host wants us to leave. But tell me one thing. Why are you such a jerk? Have you got the bird of happiness? We uh, have a pretty friendly stop. chicken. Happiness is to kill our foes. What a happiness. Who wants that kind of life? We sometimes have to kill to protect ourselves. Could I put this down? As for happiness, never. Uh, apparently they Men, don't know let's leave this place. People who kill for happiness. I heard that. They have turned their backs to us. Don't let them off the beach. Kill them. Okay. Look out, Sinbad. Hey, they're heading after him with ah, shrimp forks. So the only way you know is treachery. So be it, barbarians. The battle begins. Come on, men. Get them. Come on. Stewart, catch me. Oh. oh. Huh? Hey, hey Nito. They can only do that once, though. Yeah. Oh, he's been caramelized. <laughs> he's hitting him with his windbreaker. Oh, that zipper hurts. Roll another one. <laughs> Man, these guys are easy to kill. Place with him. You are too young to fight. Jim, don't do it, Jim. Here where it's safe. Oh, oh, my hip, careful. Ah, oh, my hip, your hip. You can kill them with a fork, but please use a spoon. It's the Stonewall Riots. Oh. Fork, Alia. <laughs> what for? They shouldn't have climbed on Sinbad's cape. I'm busy! Doesn't it feel grungy? Doesn't it feel scrungy? Doesn't it feel seamy? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? A gigantic sale on mighty tasty casuals of pay less. Didn't know? Oh, you're the one. Doesn't it feel clunky? Doesn't it feel funky? Doesn't it feel jeansy? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? They're big, they're bad, and they're on sale starting at just $9.99. Two for 18. I feel industrial strength good. Doesn't it feel, doesn't it feel, doesn't it feel good to pay less? Who taught you how to shave your legs? Your mother? You start with a bar of soap. Work up a good lather. Sometimes I use your father's shaving foam. Soft Scent Shave Gel. Goes on silky, foams up soft. True, soap may dry your skin. Soft Sense has seven moisturizers. It protects against the nicks and dryness a soap and water shave can cause. These little bandages are a perfect fit. Soft Sense Shave Gel. The soft, sensible shave. You work harder, you get better, right? But working to condition my perm made it flatter. Then I found this. A new Pert Plus, just right for perms. Using a separate conditioner after you shampoo can flatten your perm. This is better. It leaves hair fuller. It cleans gently, then conditions just where you need it. So your hair is fuller and soft, too. New Pert Plus for permed and color-treated hair. Fuller hair. 
no fuss. Four nearly departed souls are attached to Thomas Riley. How are ya? We're supposed to have you help finish things for us. Now, who you see... I want your body. No, no, that's not funny. ...isn't always who you get. I have no idea how long I've waited for the chance to, well, you know, to... F <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. and Charles Grodin... We can do this! This is gonna work! Don't you give me attitude. I'm mother... Heart and Souls. Rated PG-13. Now playing at theaters everywhere. don't they? Hey, nay means nay. Get the horse there. I'm hungry. Hey, what are you doing? Dressing me up like I'm Hoover or something? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, that guy's got the wrong concept of a pony ride. Oh, your hand's cold. <laughs> Hey, boss, I just invented the Pony Express. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> hey, I'm completely capable of walking, thank you. Hey, boss. Did you see that guy back yeah, there? Yeah, pretty easy, that? but I don't know. He's carrying a horse. Oh, Jello tonight. No. No. You are the bravest man I've ever known. Thank you. We still must search for the bird. We can't let anything stop us. Well, you're certainly right, Ollie. They're pretty good for their first season fight, huh? Oh, it's like glass out there. I should be out water skiing. Due east. Defeats Truman. <laughs> the ships follow the calls of exotic lands. Hey, come the over here! Of rare spices and rare. magic herbs. The crystal palaces of Nashapur. Any colored gardens of Ababu, the golden city of Bangalore, the flame colored rocks of Nokomgi, the magic bird of happiness be found, until the ships found themselves on the coast of mysterious India. Hey, with all those tents, they could do a Benny Hill sketch. Hey, there's George Harrison. Yeah. Mm. Oh boy, this exotic land is so different from where we came from. Oh boy. <clears throat> Say, do you got anything uh, elephanty, sort of brassy like uh, trinkets and stuff like that? Hey, I'm sacred. Leave me alone. It sure attracts lint. Uh, nobody's gonna miss just one. Come on, take it easy, easy. It's just a banana. Stay calm. Come on, Polly. Uh, Turn around and say hello. Uh. It's Rock'em Sock'em Chickens. <laughs> Junior on, achievement. Step right up, step now, right up, he's not a very skilled right puppeteer. Hey, all of you, mm. take a look at what we have here. Take a look. Oh man, these snakes are all tangled up today. The one goes there. Where's that pronto pup stand? Sinbad. Sinbad. You were great in necessary roughness. I've discovered they have a magic bird here which sings of happiness. I must see it at once. The prince keeps it in a golden tower behind seven walls. Oh, they shouldn't keep a bird inside on such a nice day. There are a thousand soldiers to guard it. I don't care. Careful, friend. We must not rush into things. This is a foreign place. But I must see this bird at all costs. We must employ our cunning here, Sinbad. Watch Tripod Rock. Their prince loves good steeds above all treasures, better than anything. Uh, do you understand me? You're going to pull back a bloody stump one of these times, old man. Ah, that's wonderful. <laughs> And now, the Aladdin proudly presents... Please, spare my trinket stand. Oh, help me, please. Hey, suddenly it's after you. 
Ow, 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 chafe. Oh, I gotta get a case for this thing. Huh? Well, this movie's turned expensive. See? No, you just can't have too much pageantry, huh? Jumbo the elephant, jumbo the elephant team. Is it Kate Capshaw? <sighs> so, uh, what kind of in-city mileage do you think that elephant gets here? I know one thing, they shouldn't have come into the city during rush hour. Yeah. That was a mistake. It's the Republican convention. <laughs> what with the elephant and all the <laughs> people. It's the Corn Palace. Leroy Neiman. Why do you not bow? We are free merchants from Kovasan. We come to sell our goods here. Let me present you with a sample. As a, a gift. sample? I am not an animal. Uh, oh, I guess I am. Your horse? Oh, yes. Isn't it grand? What price will you take for it? He's not for sale, Your Highness. Not to anyone. You surprise me that you suffer me insolence. Mm. I cannot sell him, and for that I regret. But I might be talked into trading him, if you like. You can Perhaps, negotiate anything. Uh, why not? State your trade. Refrigerator you repair. Have here a bird. I hear that it sings of happiness. Yeah, what well, do you Such a bird horse like mine is worthy of. And that's what I will take in trade. Impudent infidel. Your presence here is insulting. I shall have your fine beast and your head. The hmm? foot of my elephant will crush you like oh, a give me five. And then the horse will be mine. You cannot. No! <laughs> so, how's he doing that? See there? This is a magic animal. Whoever takes it away by force will be mortally stricken immediately. Hmm. Oh dear, think of an offer. He's not Sinbad. Be careful, sweets. That's an excellent offer. Let us play a game of chess, merchant. If you win, sir, the phoenix of happiness is yours. If not, the horse is mine. Okay. Well then, let's play. You wanna? This is what the Boris Spassky Bobby Fisher match needed. Hey, it's human chess like at the Ren Fest. I wonder if Paula Abdul did the choreography here. There's really a lot to go through just to move your pawn to Queen's Knight 3. You mind? I'm trying to think here. They do this for Pictionary, too. Man, this is the most twisted version of battle chess I've ever seen. There. Isn't it kind of goofy having all these dances about... That throne makes him look like a peacock. Uh, Debbie? Yes, okay, I'll call her Debbie. Hello. I'll get it. Dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He moved. He moved. He just made a little move. Is this bugging you? Is this bugging you? I am not touching you. Hello? Look at me. She's doing an Ed Grimley dance. Santa bites the bishop? All right, I'm gonna move uh, this dealy bop uh, over to this thingamajiggy here. I heard the dicky down this thing in devil today. More later. Well, they just canceled their brandy decanters. You boys put down grandma's knickknacks this instant. Here, take my queen too, yeah. Check. Please. <laughs> oh wow, I'm tripping. The steed is mine. <laughs> uh oh. Pray forgive me, but you've lost. What happened? Checkmate. Oh. Uh... It's hard on the help then. Yeah. You have one. You have my beautiful treasure. 
However, it is best not to contemplate treasures you might not be alive to appreciate. I'm not worried about it. My name's in the title. It's my bird right now. You have one. Okay, the new trend, you heard it. Great big white flabby stomachs. Almost live at Comedy Central. Just some average looking white people from Seattle who do funny stuff and have their own show. Big chest, I like it, I like it. Look out, whoa! whoa. You probably don't know their names, but that's okay. They don't know yours either. How much do you spend on food for this kid? This kid's enormous. Doesn't even, yeah, doesn't even need it. Almost live. Weeknights at 8.30 only at Comedy Central. Only a select few TV shows reached the pinnacle of the fifth season. Now, one of Comedy Central's own takes its place among them. Uh, uh, camera three, get off the track. Camera three, oh, yeah! It's Mystery Science Theater 3000 season number five of the show where the worst movies ever made are given the respect they deserve. Good God, I'm ugly. Watch Mystery Science Theater 3000 tomorrow at 10 a.m. only at Comedy Central. Oops, come here. Kind of reminds you of the disco era, doesn't it? Pretty neat. Very clever gizmo, I might say. I think it's an upper class of sneakers on the cords, I think. I load up, lace up, and I'm good to go. And all they see are these little lights flashing away. You get to see the light before you go up and slam on them. Bam! I think Grandma would like a pair. You gotta own the light if you wanna own the night. Other people will too. So use Noxzema every time you wash. It's better than soap. Dissolves oil without over drying for healthy looking skin. My face belongs to Noxzema. So, you want to save on long distance? What a pain. Restrictions on times of day, area codes, calling circles, and there's no guarantee you'll save. Except with the most. Mm. It's like a billion megabyte brain at Sprint. It figures out who you call the most and guarantees you savings every month. One month, your best friend in Alaska. Next month, your new best friend in Lahaina. Isn't science wonderful? Now get $50 free long distance with the most. Only from Sprint. At the first tickly itch of athlete's foot, get an X. Killing those grungy fungi before they get racket and burden. Go get that can now, or else don't blame Desinex. You're at Comedy Central. Tonight at 9 o'clock, watch Divine Madness, starring Bette Midler. At 11, it's Comic Justice. At 11.30, watch Stand Up Stand Up. Hmm. So, the Emperor business treating you pretty good? What happened, sir? Did you win? No, we couldn't tell from back here. Bet you really dusted him, didn't you, sir? Yeah. Clap on, clap off, it's the clapper. Somebody just flush? Well, help yourself, have at it. Collect it. Get the whole set. Come on, you mugs. <laughs> nice dress. <laughs> dress? Oh, <laughs> I get it. Oh, you're looking pretty smug. <laughs> like taking candy from a... How are we to get back? Never mind that now. Do not worry until it is necessary. <laughs> Do you wish to see the bird of happiness? Yes. Very well, then. I didn't mean to yell at you. Come on. Look, they worship Gilbert <laughs> Gottfried. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. Is this really the best away team he could have chosen? <clears throat> <laughs> hey, it was in the first place they looked. What do you know? 
Welcome to the state capital, Madison, Wisconsin. That's not the bluebird of happiness, it's the penguin of giddiness. Oh, it's the grackle of Welchmertz. That's the grebe of obstinance. So, is this all it does? It's not dead, it's resting. Whatever it is, it's too big for the living room. Ooh. Get the boy out of here. About time somebody came to clean my cage, I've been out of color bones for ages. Ah. You know, they also have a dog in there with Alan Alda's head, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Well, we need the eggs. What do you think, Grady? I got to agree with him, Fred. I like it, it's blue and funny. <laughs> Draw on to the carpet, seekers of happiness. You are the threshold of the land of blissful calm. Blissful calm. You have spent long years in the pursuit of happiness and the good things in life. Burn, baby, burn, burn, burn this hell inferno. Have found nothing but a void. Nothing but a void. Naked. As a jaybird. And alone <laughs> is man upon the earth. On the earth. <laughs> Those buffalo wings? Is his fortune forever. Hey, do the Nevermore bit. At least she's not molting anymore. Woe to him who tries to grasp happiness. Happiness. By a conscious act. Conscious act. Happiness is calm. Well, excuse the heck out of us. Please. Oh, I drank too I much please. cherry NyQuil. Hmm. Look at me. Until tears veil your eyes. Uh, one. And go to uh, sleep forever. Two. Uh, sleep me. the long sleep. The big the sleep. sleep. What is the wicked Romper, bumper, you? stomper, boo. Did no one <laughs> weep for no one. Me, huh? And I, the Phoenix, here. will love you with my sweet song. <laughs> Safe and restful sleep, sleep, sleep. sleep. Now operate heavy machinery. <laughs> A calm Guys? Bliss. Guys. A blissful calm. Sleep. Sleep. Oh, I hate going to grandma's. <laughs> That's another good one. Guys. Hey, look, her battery needs recharging. <laughs> Guys, come on. Can we zoom in on that pour? Oh, <laughs> I'm killing them. Guys. Oh, no. Look. Look. Wake up! And smell the coffee! Wake up! And smell the coffee! Did I miss my route? Santa came! Quick, get Hearts Mountain on the phone. This is not the bird we are after. It ain't blue, it's Who cobalt. You could never offer the people happiness. Your song is a lie. Can it feed the starving, comfort the sick? Please, I'm a very good woman. I'm just a very bad this is not bluebird. The we've been searching for, but we'll take her with us. Why do Looks like a lot of jello molds up there on the ceiling. As Jim wrestled with the bluebird, I found myself safe in the chopper. And with Mutual of Omaha, you can find yourself safe in the chopper, too. Could you please put that on high, Steve? Love child, love, love child, child, never meant to be. Hmm? Ashiba. <laughs> That's the belly list dancers. <laughs> you see? Here's the church. Here's the steeple. One Grecian urn. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> Do you believe this? Well. My lord, now they are ready. The pizza pockets are ready. Go and bring their heads to me. Okay, boss. Yo, Rio, yo, ro, yo. Wonder whose heads he meant. Oh, well, we'll find out when we get there. Uh, about those heads, uh, they're on the way. Uh, no problem with the heads. Spot me! You can learn a lot from a dummy. <laughs> Coming. Honk, honk, honk. It's quitting time. He's got great legs under that thing, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, I want to talk to you about that birthday. Get back here. Oh, poopy. 
Well, now. They're afraid of us. Four neat guys. The prince does not like losing to us. Where have they gone so fast? Best we make our departure. Yeah. Ah! Now Harpo's after the guys. Merchant ivory like you've never seen them before. Big and bold. We are the men from Texaco. One and two and up. Kick those thighs up. Come on. Kong's coming. Kong. Kong. Kong is coming. It is Kong. Kong is coming. Kong. What is this? Birth of a rhythm nation? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Tom, Joel, huh? I want you guys to know that I love you. That's, I always will. That's nice, honey. Huh. Hey, look up there. What? Where? What? I don't see you. No. Hey, look, here comes the world's slowest assault <laughs> team. <laughs> hey, Paul Wellstone, right in the middle. There he is. What do you do? He's strong. Use your magic bird to stop him. Use your own magic Sing bird. Sing your song, Phoenix. Sing your song, wise bird. And put them to sleep at once. <coughs> Sing, you hey, watch bird. the vent. Sing. Why? Sing or I'll pull them all out. Oh, she fell asleep on her cherry sucrete. <laughs> Hear my voice. Forget hey, all she's else. doing Marlena Dietrich. Sleep, no. For sleep is the only truth. Listen, hey, hey, wait, where's Crow? I don't know. And I, what? The Phoenix, hmm? I don't know where it is. Well, look, <laughs> she's doing her Garrison Keeler effect here. <laughs> Crow! Oh, you know, next I'm up, more of that banjo and fiddle crap. Coming up next. What? We should go find Crow. It's kind of weird. Yeah, Crow. I don't see him anymore. Crow! Crow! I couldn't find him anywhere. No, no, ditto. Oh, listen, did you check under the control room stairwell? Remember that one time he took a bunch of cookies and wedged himself under there for about eight hours? Yeah, no, he wasn't there either. <clears throat> but I found a Jolly Rancher fire stick with a little hair on it. <laughs> yeah, I had a really weird taste, kind of like Tabasco sauce and Silly Putty. I can't really recommend that. Tom, would you knock it off? We're trying to find Crow. Maybe we should uh, read the note on the desk. Oh, here. OK, uh, guys? On lifelong quests like Sinbad? He's not Sinbad. Tom? Sorry. 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 Okay, guys, on lifelong quests like Sinbad, shot myself out airlock, never returning, ham and fridge, crow. Huh. Crow T robot to satellite of love one. Come in, satellite of love one. What? That's crow. The little fella must have taken a communication headset with him. Come <laughs> in, crow. Oh, Joel, hi. Uh, so, um, uh, I took some thrusters and shot myself out the airlock to go on my lifelong quest thingy. Well, it's, it's not going real well. Our thrusters are out of control. It's real cold. And right now, it seems as though my doom is imminent. <laughs> so, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, Crow, but wh where are you? I'm right outside the ship. Well, uh, give me rocket number nine, quick. Hi. Uh, I'll try to fly past the window. Uh, oh, still haven't got the hang of these thruster things. Uh, Crow, this is Tom. Hi. Hey, if you're gonna die out in the cold void of space, uh, can I have that Toblerone you've been hiding under your bed? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. It's a given. Crow, you're not gonna die. You just need to slow yourself down and get to one of the airlocks. Slow myself down. Oh, no. Oh, we, oh, why do these stupid antennae have to stick out like this? Oh, my hinder. Oh. oh. Crow, I've got a feeling it's just about commercial sign, so we're gonna have to leave. Oh, you guys go ahead. I'm fine. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh, listen, Crow, reverse your thrusters and steer yourself back to one of the airlocks. On my way to the theater, I'll set them to external control. Okay, sounds great. I'm dead. Oh, we got commercial sign here. He doesn't stand a chance. We'll be right back. Before Madonna. Before Shanae. There was Bet. Rock and Roll's original bad girl. Oh, you want to see my... Comedy Central's got Bette Midler at her body best in her concert film, Divine Madness, a Comedy Central movie. Watch Divine Madness next, here at Comedy Central. You held my name You held my body through the thick and thin Do, 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 do. You ever know?
notice? You can't really smell your own breath. Hi, Tim. Whoa. Problem, Tim? Whoa. You can smell other people's breath. Whoa. But not your own, even though it's right under your nose. Whoa. So you search for fresh, clean breath or face the consequences. Hey, guys. Want fresh, clean breath? Get the only mint with Retson. And be certain with certs. We have a fugitive that's been on the run for 90 minutes. The chase is on. Go get him. Raider! Critics say the fugitive is full of suspense, thrills, fun. It's dynamite. Put that gun down! A runaway hit that will leave you breathless. Harrison Ford is... The Fugitive, rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. America's hot new number? 1-800-COLLECT. Dial it instead of zero the next time you call someone collect. Hello. This is soap scum, and it's very hard to get rid of. Or was, until new Tylex soap scum remover. Made specifically to dissolve scum on contact. Just spray it on and wipe it off. New Tylex Soap Scum Remover. When is a stamp not just a stamp? Stamp, this is a legend. When is a stamp not just a stamp? But it's really cool. A stamp is more than a stamp when it's worth hanging on to. When it means something to you. But stamps you want to hang on to don't hang around your post office long. So call for this free catalog. You'll find this year's best stamps, past favorites you might have missed, plus great gift ideas. Call for our free catalog now. So when is a stamp not just a stamp? Elvis! With Elvis! When is a stamp not just a stamp? New Broadway musical stamps, now appearing at your post office for a short run only. Or call for our free catalog. Oh, let's taste that Toblerone. The man <laughs> sailed on in search of oh, the I hope happened. Crow gets back in After here. Temples and shrines, the great wonders of the earth. Oh! oh. 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 Cow. Uh. Hey. Yeah. Ah. Came in through the airlock. Pretty easy. With nothing but treachery and futility is my reward. And the Sphinx whispered, find your happiness in Kovasan. You big loser. Oh, he's holding the remote control for the slide projector. Oh. Wait a minute. I'm Sinbad, damn it. Uh, Earth to Sinbad, hello, come in, Sinbad. I'm a failure, lower than a weevil. Next slide, please. Thank you. I'm feeling really bad. I pledge allegiance to the flag of Dorothy? Dorothy, where are you? Oh, hi. <laughs> what? Big statue of George Washington? The hell? Oh. I must decide. All right, this is Jan Murray. Welcome to Las Vegas. Hoist the sails for Kovasan. We can't. We used them to wrap the horse. And return to our home. Man, this has been like waiting for Godot on the high seas. Huh? Well, those sails were filthy. It's good they sent them out to be dry cleaned. <laughs> Hoist the failure sails, mates. We're going home. We're going home. Our heads are bowed. We failed. Boy, that blew in quick, huh? Whoa. It looks like they sailed right into the rinse cycle. Oh, no. I got Bucky. I got Bucky. The Tidy Bowl raises in 1993. Look at the sails. They're Mickey cake sails. Look out, Mr. Maxwell. I have glued you all to the boats and put rods into your limbs for a reason. <laughs> yep, we lost one. Damn. Oh, there goes another one. Listen, why don't we all take our furs off? <laughs> Way 
Wait a minute. Pay toll ahead, 30 cents per axle. What next? <laughs> Don't worry. Whoa, this should burn off by noon. <laughs> hey, we're shooting the tube, man. Oh. Oh. Well, we're just going to get wet now. That's all there is to it. I have failed you, my friend. I have forgotten about King Neptune and did not make him an offering as I should. Oh, and yeah. And so he sends his to us. I know nothing will satisfy him. There must be a human sacrifice. <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me? I led you here, and if there is to be a sacrifice, it shall be me! Yeah! Woo! Yes! Yes! Good idea. Yes! 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 Yes!
You know, that ceiling octopus really helps with the circulation. <laughs> well, I kind of wish they'd celebrate internally. Is this supposed to be Sinbad's stomach? Mm. Hey, uh, is there a phone I could use? I just have to make a quick call. Faster, Sinbad, faster! Do you know any Rimsky Korsakov? Because <laughs> it bugs me the way he's playing that thing. Almost live at Comedy Central. Just some average looking white people from Seattle who do funny stuff and have their own show. Oh. Who won the 1990 World Cup of Soccer? Bunch of fairies and tight shorts. That's right. You probably don't know their names, but that's okay. They don't know yours either. I saw Jesus headed for Hollywood. Boy, was he pissed. Almost live. Weeknights at 8.30 only at Comedy Central. Hi, I'm Jake Johansson, and Comedy Central has offered me the opportunity to host their stand-up comedy show, Two Drink Minimum. Take the I, gig. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do it. I'm consulting with my psychic advisor and manager, Pickpock Sharma. Take the gig. It's good for the new comedians who are on the show, but I don't know if, for me, it's the oh, right... Get off your high horse and take the stinking gig. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Thank Mars of Eleven for that. Now, can you flunk me a couple of bucks? Watch the new season of Two Drink Minimum, tonight at midnight, only at Comedy Central. Doesn't it feel grungy? Doesn't it feel scrungy? Doesn't it feel seedy? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? A gigantic sale on mighty tasty casuals to pay less. Didn't know? Oh, you're the one. Doesn't it feel clunky? Doesn't it feel funky? Doesn't it feel jeansy? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? They're big, they're bad, and they're on sale starting at just $9.99. Two for 18. I feel industrial strength good. Doesn't it feel, doesn't it feel? taught you how to shave your legs? Your mother? You start with a bar of soap, work up a good lather. Sometimes I use your father's shaving foam. Soft Scent Shave Gel. Goes on silky, foams up soft. True, soap may dry your skin. Soft Sense has seven moisturizers. It protects against the nicks and dryness a soap and water shave can cause. These little bandages are a perfect fit. Soft Scent Shave Gel. The soft, sensible shave. If you think your face is special, other people will too. So use Noxzema every time you wash. It's better than soap. Dissolves oil without over drying for healthy looking skin. My face belongs to Noxzema. Four guardian angels have watched over Thomas since he was a child. Now, he's going to return the favor. We're supposed to have you help finish things for us. Heart and Souls is one of the summer's most enjoyable, heartfelt movies. What is going on? And Rolling Stone raves, it's buoyantly funny, a magical fantasy. Don't you give me attitude, I'm a mother. Heart and Souls, rated PG-13. Now playing at theaters everywhere. You are here. He has the traveler's checks here. There's got to be a better way. Here's one now. American Express checks for two. The only traveler's checks that either of you can use. Don't leave home without them. Huh? Oh, hey, that sacrifice is really working out, Sinbad. Stroke, 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 drown, drown. Now, wait a minute, how does that work? I'm trying to play, do you mind? Ships being wrecked, crews being drowned. Grapple filled on the this well? What has happened? Well, I'm gonna save you for later. You stop the music. My harp string, sire. Ah. Uh, salt water messed up the tuning. I must return to the earth in order to get new ones. Ah, he <laughs> He'll go back to earth and, and he'll never come back again. Yes. To ensure your return, you must marry one of my daughters. Or huh? leave your license. Are they not beautiful? Anyone would be lucky to have you for a husband, Sinbad. Mm. Pick one. Pick the one you like the best, my son. Daughter number one wears a star in her head and is fond of grouper. Number two, if I came home late one night, what would you say? Tell father that I am the one you choose. I'm not going to choose the infant of Prague. I cannot marry you. I know all about your Luberia. Hey, that cleared up. I will help you once more. 
He's got a nice embouchure, doesn't he? Here is my choice. You don't want that one. She's the favorite of all my children. Pick another. No, only this one. How dare you speak to me like that? You are only a guest in this kingdom, and you shall do as I tell you, or you will not live to rise. Oh. To my mother now. Poopy, please. Nip, you know, really. Now, wasn't I offered my choice? But you shall have your choice. And I say he will not marry Morgiana. And I say he shall. And I say he won't. He shall, or you'll regret it. <laughs> you knock him out. Let marry her. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> Boy, they started early today. Weird. Here, quickly, follow me down the fallopian tube. Boy, now she's got so much planning to do. She's got to register, pick out a bridesmaid. Uh, you want a carrot, Sinbad? This started getting weird a little while ago, didn't it? Yep, yep. I cannot marry you, lovely princess. I have Luberia. You must know that I can. It's eating into my embouchure. Stop worrying, Sinbad. Your freedom is going to be spared. Huh? I love her very much indeed. I know. With all my heart. I understand completely. Forgive me for this. There ain't no problem here. It must be. Look, beat it! Fate willed it so. Hey, there's and plenty of fish in the sea. Her very much. Yes. With all my heart. And part of my spleen and a little bit of my I liver. I be angry with you for this refusal. So, goodbye. You are very proud of your love. It is a wonderful thing. To see you leave. So what can I do to help you? You have helped me so much already. Do you validate? Well, gotta go. But there is one more favor. If I could get back to land. And I've always wanted a pony. All right, my friend. And could you introduce me to Daryl Hannah? I will try. He's taken away my favorite. My favorite little daughter. Ah, I gotta go <laughs> sleep with Luca Bratzi. <laughs> See ya. Somebody pulled my tail. Oh, no. And stop for nothing until you reach home what safe and safe. Man, I've done some princess. weird things before, but wow. I shall never see you again, Sinbad. I shall bless you in my prayers. Marble now leave the before Mustang. I change heart. How do you work this out? There goes a stupid, stupid man. It's unforgiven underwater. He's running away. Huh? I'm drunk. Sinbad escaped. Get me my chariot. I'll catch the scoundrel. Oh, I did it again. Oh, oh man, it's a team of prawns. <laughs> Boy, he's really hugging the seahorse. Yeah. Hey, ease up, buddy. I've got an exoskeleton for crying out loud. Atlantis. Because it's under. <sighs> Fly, monkeys! Oh, I mean seahorse. This didn't really happen. Oh. Leave me alone! You want me to wait, pal? No, that's okay. Hey, I won! <laughs> He's kissing a gopher. She's been standing there for six years. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, really bad. <laughs> All that water. Nuberia. And it's treatable. I have returned. Uh, nothing happened between me and the sea, babe. Last time here. Oh. Will we come back? Oh, what? Look at that. It's there already, and we left before him. Sinbad's back! No hey, off today! Ooh, Come off on. again! Hey, guess who's back? Stop yeah. working, everybody! It's Day him! Off. Sinbad again! Let's go! Down the docks! What for crying out loud? I can't believe this! Well, well they got the failure sails up. Yep. Go away! Big plague here! Go away! Death and stuff! Oh, the merchants are acting up again. We're going to we be making it, it all! all. Yeah. So, Sinbad, how about that bluebird of happiness, huh? Where is Sinbad? Now, where's Waldo? There he is. He is no more. Here I am 
my friend. I have returned to you. Boom! This guy's like a bad penny. Get him, guys! Tear him up! <laughs> Everybody, welcome the failures, they have failed again. Where did you find the bird of happiness? There is no bird. Then where is happiness? Here. It's been here always. Oh, bogus. Everybody go back home. Our ships have been around the world. Oh, great. We've seen amazing and marvelous things. You went to the Quad City. Yet nowhere huh? find any place to compare with our own home. Yeah! <laughs> Follow your heart to happiness. Stop looking into my soul! Hey, what about me? What's going on? Who am I? Hey, look who's decided to visit the ship today. It's the lovable, huggable channel cat from the underwater scenes in this week's Sinbad movie. That wasn't Sinbad. Wow, is that ever boss? I'm really happy to be here, Crow. It knows my name. Wait a minute. And how's Tom Servo? <laughs> Fine, thanks for asking, channel cat. Wait a minute, you're not the same fish from the Sinbad movie. It wasn't Sinbad. Yeah, Are you not... thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. There's no way that fish is from the movie. Ooh. He's oh, doing something. Like yeah, it. I hear you big time. Oh, that no, thing's no, no, no more alive than I am. Mm -mm. Oh, what's it made out of? Mm. You know, if I had to guess, I'd say some sort of aluminum armature with a webbing of pneumatics. Mm -hmm. Still, I don't see any tubes running off it or a compressor no, anywhere. No, 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 Crow. Just look at the action he's getting with that yeah. thing. It's definitely not audio animatronics. Now, if my mm. guess is right, and it usually is, is, I bet my wife that Joel rotoscoped the fish from the movie, digitized and copied extra frames of the mouth movement, and then simply used a laser projector to mat the fish footage over his hand. Then there's just a small matter of adding the voice, which he's obviously doing himself. No, no way. I'm definitely seeing and rendering this thing in three dimensions. Right. Mm. Mm. Nope. Sorry, Tommy. Oh, jeez. Crow, it defies any kind of explanation. Oh, look at that thing. Those eyes. Weird, God. huh? Scary, hey. Crow. Yeah. How's Chuck ah! and Crow? Oh, it knows what I'm thinking! Get out of my head! Ah! Mommy. Um, how's Tom today? Oh, 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 yeah! Help me, help me. Oh, we gotta read him. Um, oh, we gotta read him a uh, letter here. Okay, put this up on Still Store, okay? We'll put that up there. Okay, that one too. Okay, and this is from Eldon Chrissy, age seven. And uh, they write Dear Joel, Crow, Tom, Servo, and Gypsy, I like your show a lot. Whenever me and my dad watch it, we can't stop laughing. My favorite episode was when a man pointed to another man and Crow yelled, pull my finger. Hello. Uh, what happened? Well, thing tried to jump me, so I had to kill it, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, what do you think, sirs? Did you see that? He was using his hand the whole time. Hi, Davies Frank. My name is Fisty. Well, if that don't beat all. <laughs> How come they call you Fisty? Ah, uh, here's why. <laughs> oh, that's Fisty. Nice job, Fisty. Push the button, will you? Live to serve! been a presentation from Comedy Central.